welcoming you back to school next week. We've got a little video to give you some idea of how things are going to look because it's going to be a little bit different to what you're used to. When you arrive at school, everybody needs to come through the main gates here at the front of the school. Parents can use the drop-off zone, this will be open, but we ask that parents stay inside the car and just drop pupils off. Um, pupils will be met here then by their tutors and their heads of year. You'll then go into the lower school building down, down the hill here and there will be markers all the way down the hill to help you maintain social distancing as you come into school. Here we are outside lower school. When you arrive at school, everyone needs to come through this entrance. It's going to be a one-way system through the building, which we'll have a look at in a moment. And when you leave, you'll come out at the far side of the building. So let's go inside, have a little look at how it's going to work when you come into school. Let's go. So as you come in, the doors will be wide open. You'll be with your tutor. You need to maintain social distancing and there's already tape on the floor to help with that. Our first hand wash, washing station is, is right inside. The toilets are now unisex so that all pupils can come through the, the hand washing station. You still have markers on the floor to help to maintain social distancing. Hand washing is one of the main ways you keep yourself safe when you're out of your home in particular. So it's really important that you use soap and give your hands a really good wash when you arrive at school. 20 seconds at least. Make sure you wash in between your fingers. Can sing happy birthday to yourself if you really want to, but make sure you rinse them really well. Get all the soap off. There we go. Give them a good shake. And then you need to use paper towels to dry your hands. The hand dryers aren't in use. So get yourself some paper towels, dry your hands, pop the paper towels into the bin and then out you can into the main school building. By the time you come into school next week, you will have received a letter with your time slot and the room that you should be in when you come to school. So from washing your hands, you go directly to that classroom and make sure you don't touch anything on the way in. So this classroom is set up ready to be used next week. Come in and have a little look, it looks a bit different. We have a hand sanitizer station at the, at the door of each classroom if that's needed during the day. Coming in, the tables have been moved to ensure social distancing between pupils while they're in the classroom. So the teacher still has their space at the front. They are socially distanced from pupils and pupils are safe at, at a safe distance within the room. When you leave the classroom, at any point you come out of the room, you still follow the one-way system through the building. Let's go this way. If you're allocated a classroom in the lower corridor of lower school, you just follow the one-way system through until you reach your classroom. And throughout the corridors, there are still stickers to help you maintain distance. And we've got an, another example of one of our rooms set up ready to go next week. Pop in and have a look at this one. Again, the hand sanitizer station and desks at a distance. Some of our rooms have outdoor access through fire doors and we'll be able to make use of these and hopefully, if the weather's willing, we'll be able to take children outside for a little bit of fresh air while they're with us. Okay, and we then, again, follow the one-way system as you leave the room. Our computer rooms have also been set up to be used. Again, hand sanitizer station and chairs are placed at appropriate spaces within the computer rooms. 
All of the classrooms will be deep cleaned every day after pupils have used them and to make them safe then for the pupils coming in on the following day. And the one-way system continues. The staff toilets on the lower school corridor have been redesignated to pupils and they're easier for pupils to access while we're in this building. So they're here, they can use those as and when they need to, but we will maintain social distancing and they will need to make sure they've washed hands and, and use hand sanitizer if appropriate. If pupils become unwell during the school day, there are two rooms allocated to, um, to have pupils out of classrooms waiting for parents to collect. And when leaving the building, we always leave via the exit here at the far end of the building. There will be a break time during the session with us here at school and if the weather is dry, pupils will be able to use the outside space. But we do ask pupils to maintain social distancing as far as possible.